Morning YouTubers. In the past videos I've talked about what you can do with these deodorant containers. And um, what you can do, you can remove the ball out of them when, rather than throw them away. They come out quite easily. And you can make Christmas baubles for your Christmas tree from the ball out of these de roll-on deodorant containers. Put that to one side. So I was thinking, what else can you do with these? Well, very simply, you can make yourself a float. I don't know what I mean by a float. Well, let me get rid of these sticky labels. These peel off ever so easy off the bottom. Well, come on. This one's an Audi or little one. Um, they wash out quite well. Now I've been watching Foxes Afloat and quite a few narrowboat videos. And one thing comes to mind is when you see them they have bunches of keys which could easily be dropped in the canal. So I've come up with a simple way of making a key ring that floats. Now a lot of people have used tennis balls and purchased the right units you know to make a key ring and things like that but these will make a very good float and with very simple tools and a bit of glue you can make a float floating key ring so what you need is a washed out roll on deodorant container a key that you no longer use for anything. <coughs> Excuse me. This is an old key, I've no idea what it fits. It's been in a toolbox for at least 10 years and I've kept it just in case I find something it fits. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this key, I'm going to heat the key up and melt it into the end there. If I can get it hot enough. To heat the key, firstly I'm going to have a pair of pliers and then I've got one of these lighter things and I'm going to warm the key up as hot as I can get it. No it's not. I'll get something else to heat it up, put it in a fire or something like that. Now I've got a micro blow lamp here. I'm going to heat the key up. It's going, getting enough heat into it. Okay, so that's now in. And what I've done to cool the key off, once it's gone into the plastic, I've used just a bit of toilet paper with water and put it on the key like that, just to cool it off and the plastic. And um, if you get it right, it'll be quite um, firm in the plastic. Still cooling it down a bit now. Making a mess here. Now, when you've got to that stage, you can then mix up some epoxy and to make it watertight at the bottom. Now, there's two ways to do that. You can take the key out put the epoxy in the bottom, just block the hole for a minute, put the epoxy in the bottom, slide the key into the running epoxy and then let it set. It's fairly straightforward. 
Now while the glue adhesive or whatever you put inside, I've put some metal putty in there because that's all I had and it was about time it was used as it's quite old. I put the putty in and that's glued to about there. But while that's going off, if you get the top and get some wet and dry or some sandpaper, you can sandpaper the cap because you know you could paint it whatever colour you want from now on. And I think it's going to be orange on the top to make it nice and visible so if it does get dropped in the water. And I'm going to hand paint it. If I had some spray paint, I'll spray paint it. I'll have a look what I've got. I'm not sure what colour I'm going to do. But, uh, yeah, so let's uh, take paint easily. Right, let's see what uh, that'll do, and then I'll see what paint I've got. The end cap was black and um, I found some red paint but I'm a bit short of paint. I've tried acrylic paints and it didn't work. It didn't attach to the plastic properly. The cap is glued on. The key's in place. Now I'm going to do a test with it with my keys but I'm making sure I remove the electronic fob one from my keys. I'm going to attach it to that key and then I'm going to drop it in water and see what happens. Here we go. Oh dear, I've dropped my keys in the canal. Look at that. It floats. Look at that. Of course, it depends how heavy the keys are. Well, I think that's a success. But you haven't got a flashing light on the top as well. Look at that. Let's do it again. Whee! Oh, this is fun. I love making things. So, I think that's a success, guys. Thanks for subscribing. Please like and share my videos. Yeah. Better drying them off now.